To create the folded bar that wraps around the tumbler, what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our Autodesk Inventor part. We're going to modify the part and then we're going to form it as a piece of sheet metal before bringing it into this assembly. To do this, go to the option of open and locate from the structure folder a bar that has 20 holes in it and choose to open this part. What we're going to do now is to go file save as and just at the top of your folder in your own area you're going to save this now as a bar with 25 holes so a bar 25 hole and choose save on the left hand side we're going to right click on the uh, rectangular pattern and go edit feature and we're now going to change these this value here to 25 which will increase the number of repeated pattern of this drawing on the pattern of holes right click again edit feature and again type in 25 what we've now done is we've now created a 25 bar piece what we're now going to do is create a 2D sketch onto this surface in this 2D sketch mode what we're going to do is use the line tool and from the left hand side we're going to count at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions and draw a fold line finish the sketch choose fold from the ribbon select this line and select OK. This will now bend our part. We're now going to repeat the process three more times. First of all create a 2D sketch on this edge here. A straight line in the last V position there. Finish the sketch. Choose Fold. Select this line and select OK. And we've now finished one side. What we're now going to do is repeat this again. So choose 2D sketch, select the top surface, draw a line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positions along, finish the sketch, fold, select OK. And last but not least, a 2D sketch here. Going to slightly change the angle so we can see onto the surface, create a line like so. Finish and then create the fold option using that line and select OK. What we should now have is a part that's been folded and formed that should be perfect for our tumbler. Choose to save this part which is now a 25 hole bar which has been formed. Close it down and now returning to our full assembly we can now place this part onto the assembly. So there is our 25 hole bar. Bring one of these in. What we're going to do is a typical constraint using uh, mates. So we'll choose the top surface of our assembly and the underside. We'll choose the top surface of our assembly and the underside of the bar. now do is choose a second mate which will give us uh, the underside of the bar here and the far edge of our assembly here and choose OK. This should now give us a bar that only slides in one more direction and what we're now going to do we'll choose to constrain the inside edge of the chassis to the inside edge select flush choose OK and what we've now done is we're now fully constrained this part. All the original iMate balloons will appear. And if we just go down to the left hand side, right click on the bar and just turn the iMate visibility off, we can now see our finished uh, tumbler assembly.